Good morning everyone, this is the second attempt at this live because the first one was a little bit dusty. I was trying to drink coffee, I was trying to think, there were people around, I was freaking out anyway. So, we're talking about some exciting stuff today uh, and it all centers around the question that I got recently which is, is SEO really important for law firms? Is it something that we should be investing in? Josh, talk to me about that. It made me think about a couple of things and there are two key reasons that you should absolutely be investing in SEO and they kind of interlock in a little bit in a, in a couple of different ways. It's lovely when things just interlock smoothly, just like that. And I'm going to take you through both of those reasons uh, in this video. So definitely stick around if you are a law firm, especially if you haven't invested in SEO before and you're thinking, should I do it? Should I not do it? This video is going to answer all your questions. And if you do have questions while you're watching this live, put them in the comments and I will stop everything that I'm doing and I'll be thinking about you and I'll answer your question. If you're watching this replay, hashtag team replay in the comments and let's get it going. So the first reason that SEO is important for law firms is because there is traffic. There are specific keywords that are related to your areas of practice that people are searching on Google, all right? And Yahoo and Bing, but mostly Google. Let, let's be honest, what we're thinking about is Google and there is traffic there. You know, there are so many different combinations of keywords that are related to family law, criminal law, business law, there's so many different things. The traffic is there, right? It's not like we have to go out there and try very hard to find the people that are relevant to your law firm. Because typically what happens is when someone needs a lawyer, if they don't already have a lawyer, they're jumping on Google, they're searching criminal law Melbourne, they're searching I've got a court case tomorrow, desperately need someone, you know, property conveyance or whatever it is, they're looking for someone on these search engines. You know, if, if they don't know the person or if they don't have a friend who knows someone, they're going on Google and searching it. That's just, that's just what people do. Like ask yourself what you would do if you were looking for a service where you didn't know anybody, you didn't have a starting point, you jump onto the search engines. We have the luxury as an SEO agency to go out there and find those keywords. We, we already know what the traffic is for those keywords. We already know, based on our understanding of human behavior, what someone's thinking when they're searching those keywords. So we can create very, very strategic campaigns based on the kind of keywords that we go after. So that's the first reason that there actually is traffic already. It's not hard to find the people that we are trying to talk to. And the second reason ties into that, which is, if you're not doing any SEO to rank for those keywords, guess what? Someone is. Right, so there's a law firm out there, one of your competitors. If you're a family law firm in Melbourne and you're not doing SEO, there's another family law firm in Melbourne that is, and they're ranking for the keywords that are relevant to your area of practice. So you are, first of all, you're missing out on market share because every keyword, depending on where you rank, gets a specific percentage of clicks. It's pretty predictable. First, ranking number one on the first page of Google gets you about 35% of clicks. Then it goes to 17%. Then it goes to 11% as you go down through the rankings. So it's pretty predictable how much traffic you're going to get. So as you move up through the rankings, you're stealing market share from your competitors. And to put it in another way, if you don't rank for those keywords, you're allowing your competitors to have the market share and you're not challenging them for that market share. And that's why SEO is important, is because the traffic is there always. The traffic is always there and there's always a law firm that is ranking for that traffic, which means that they're getting those people come to their site when they could be going to your site or someone else's, okay? So generally what you wanna be doing is really thinking about these keywords, that's always the first point, is going what keywords do we actually want to rank for and then challenging your competitors for those keywords so that you can steal market share from them. It's an absolutely beautiful space, I absolutely love it. SEO is predictable, it's a short-term marketing strategy I really don't like when people call it a passive marketing strategy because it's not. There are keywords that are easy to rank for, less difficult, less competition, and you can get very, very high up in the rankings for those 
very, very quickly, okay? So if you have any questions about SEO, or how it works, or why it is important for law firms, please put it in the comments and I will answer that. I'll do my best to um, give you an answer for that question. And if you have any ideas of videos that you want me to do in the future, throw them in the comments as well. But hopefully that clears up a couple of the key points for why a law firm should be advertising on Google. You know, there, there are a whole, not advertising, doing SEO, there are a whole bunch of other different reasons like building authority and market, et cetera, et cetera. But essentially it's those two key points. There is traffic on Google. And if you're not getting it, someone else is, okay? It's been a pleasure. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk soon.